Hey church, hope you're doing well. I'm excited to bring a devotional today out of Psalm 5. Psalm 5 is the Psalm of David and it's just very meditational, devotional, beautiful. I want to just read it. There's 12 verses and then we're going to go through it and apply it to our lives. Psalm 5, beginning in verse 1. Give ear to my words, O Lord. In other words, hear, O God, when I call to you. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my groaning. Heed the sound of my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. In the morning, O Lord, you will hear my voice. You know, we've got a beautiful song of worship that comes from this psalm. In the morning, O Lord, you will hear my voice. In the morning, I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness. No evil dwells with you. Verse 5, the boastful shall not stand before your eyes, for you hate all who do iniquity. You destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord abhors the man of bloodshed and deceit. But as for me, see, here's that contrast. Verse 7, as for me, by your abundant loving kindness, I will enter your house. Oh, that's so beautiful. At your holy temple, I will bow in reverence for you. Oh, Lord, lead me in your righteousness because of my foes. Make your way straight before me. There is nothing reliable in what they say. Their inward part is destruction itself. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Hold them guilty, O oh God. By their own devices, let them fall. I tell you, that's fantastic. By their own devices, let them fall. Did you know that's a principle that you can see true throughout the word of God? He uses their own devices against them. David knows that. And he says, in the multitude of their transgressions, thrust them out, for they are rebellious against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy, and may you shelter them, that those who love your name may exult in you. For it is you who bless the righteous man, O Lord. You surround him with favor, with, like a shield. Okay, this is a tremendous psalm of David. And he starts out, you know, with that understanding that God will hear. When he cries for help, God hears. This is important. You've got to know that great truth. When in trouble, when things are in distress, you call to God and God hears. Give ear to my words. Consider my groaning. He says, heed the sound of my cry for help. My King and my God. You see that relationship is the foundation for which he cries for help. O oh Lord, in the morning you will hear my voice. There's that, that promise. God, I will come before you every morning. I'll pray. I'll meditate. That's good. That's why these devotionals are a great resource of doing that very thing. Lord, you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness. And then he just speaks against all the evil of the world around. But as for me, verse 7, see, I love verse 7. As for me, by your abundant loving kindness, I will enter your house. That is beautiful. There's that picture of just entering into the presence of God because of what he has done to you. Your soul has been ignited and there's a love there. That's why you enter into the presence of the Lord. Lead me in your righteousness. It's beautiful. He said, make my way straight before you. See, and then he says in verse 11, but let all who take refuge in you be glad. He is the lifter up of your countenance, you see. Let them ever sing for joy that those who love your name may exult in you. That is so right. It is you who bless the righteous man. And I love this, how he finishes with verse 12. You surround him with favor like a shield. Do you believe that? God will surround you with favor like a shield. See, that's the foundation of faith, isn't it? To believe that God loves and pours his favor like a shield about you. Take hold of that. It's a great truth. It will strengthen your faith. Let's pray. Father, we do thank you and honor you for that favor by which you surround us like a shield. 
God, it's that promise that we stand on and take hold of and understand that you hear our cry when we call for help. You are with us in time of need. So, Father, we thank you for that promise and take hold of that promise. Bring life to the soul as we dwell in the presence of the Almighty. We love you and thank you. We honor you now in Jesus' powerful name.